Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Shantae and the Seven Sirens. We are about to start exploring the Sea Vent Lab. Uh, I'm actually exploring it for the second time, because I started recording this a couple of days ago and ended up losing that recording where I made it through maybe halfway through the dungeon. I don't know, because I, I hadn't found the map, so I don't know how much, actually. But judging by the size of previous dungeons, maybe like half of it. And, uh, you know, I would say that I lost that recording through, you know, technical, for technical reasons, but it was really mostly human error. So, um, yeah, anyway, that was a little bit frustrating, which is why it took me a couple of days to get back to it, which uh, means that I barely remember anything. Well, I guess it'll come back, but uh, some details might be a little bit fuzzy. Right, so I had already speculated, I think, um, that the ability we'll get here is probably uh, gonna be, you know, rock smashing, and that seems to be further uh, reinforced uh, great, uh, by the abundance of those breakable rocks in this place. Well, at least the presence is, I suppose, not necessarily abundance. Um, we have no idea, though, as far as I am aware, Ouch. Uh, actually, did I get hit? I don't know. I might have. Uh, we, we have no idea who we're exactly going to rescue here, but, I mean, obviously it doesn't matter. Ah, yes, I remember this. So, I could jump up here, but uh, I can't actually drop down through those platforms. So, I'm, I guess I'm going to do what I did the last time I was here. Um, and explore the other way first. All oh, right, we have these horrible things. They, ouch, ouch. I'm also still just as terrible. Um, as it turns out, these snakes are really just reskins of the of the other snakes, and they do drop the exact hello there, uh, same card. I did try that, so no need to farm them like I did originally, which turned out to be a huge waste of time, of course, because they, of course, oh, okay, these things, great, um, because of course they refuse to drop their card until you know for the for the longest time I died. You know what? I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I know, yes, that's uh, what the uh, what the auto potions are for, but I mean... No, that's not what I... Uh, why do you default me to slot 1 when my real slot is slot 2, of course? Oh boy, this is terrible. I should just start over again, but no, no. I've had enough of that right there. Slot two. The other two are just backups. Um, for, you know, reasons. I mean, thankfully, because I do have these backups, I was able to just return to this point and start this episode over. Right, so we don't have a card for these things. I don't know. Did I find one? I mean, I, su I don't think they were reskin of another enemy type, so they probably have their own card. Lots of jogger. We had that one before. Get out of here. Yeah, that's... Uh, Spiky Corridor below is actually kind of interesting. I wonder if I just get a, a massive upgrade maybe to the Lizard launch that not only breaks through through rocks, but also um, flies horizontally indefinitely. Uh, anyway. Ouch. God. Getting hit by everything. Well, I'm also picking up food, so that's nice. Card, please. No such luck. Right, up here is where I decided not to go. Yeah, yeah. Right, so what killed me last time? Okay, first of all, stupid snakes. I'm just gonna dash through. For the most part. That was kind of a sad little dash, but, you know. Ah, yes, there it is, hanging out there. I think I did get the card for this one. Oh god. Um, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. They deal a ton of damage. I think they're. Yeah. They deal 7 damage, which is crazy. Sickly silver. Silverfish. Thanks for the card. Of course, I forget what it does, so... Uh, the Refresh Dance consumes less magic when used. You know? Um, I do have this one equipped. Which increases healing from food, of course. This one doesn't seem very effective. This one is, of course, effective. However... Um, I mean, I guess it's worth... I, I don't know if I really... 
try paying attention to how much this reduces the cost. Also, these projectiles they shoot just stick around for way too long. Uh, anyway, I guess I'm gonna wait until I take one more hit. Kind of stupidly. Oh yeah, okay, there's another one right there. That's not great. Oh. Stop bouncing. It's gonna shoot another one, of course. By the way, oh god. Um, don't... Get out of here! Leave me alone! Projectiles that just bounce in a very predictable pattern are my worst nightmare in games. I don't know why. Okay, wow, that stuck around for so long. Crazy. Anyway, um, let's heal. Let's see. Okay. That took about half of my remaining mana there, I suppose. It's kind of hard to tell, of course, uh, what the exact units are. Um, it also did... Oh god, I wasn't... I, I was focused entirely on the mana bar and not on the health, so... I don't even know, know how much that healed. Okay. Oh, hold on. This is another situation, actually, where we cannot return. So there was a locked door... Oh yeah, and uh, a locked door and spikes up that uh, that shaft to the right, so we cannot actually go that way. So the only way we can go from here is this way. But yeah, um, as I was saying... Right, so we would need the ability to break rocks to progress downward in this room. Oh yeah, this room. Oh god, I remember this. I did make it through this, but <laughs> just barely. Yeah, and oh god, here we have two of these guys shooting their projectiles simultaneously. Oh god, thanks for the second card that we don't need. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I guess I could use the the bubble. Oh yeah. Awesome. And now we have a new enemy type. I don't actually know. Eight damage. That's so much. Okay. Good. Great. These are also very tanky. And we have... We have these things on the walls. Okay. Thanks for dying. Oh, absolutely horrible. Yes, this completely wrecked me the first time around. <sighs> Actually, uh, what am I doing? I'm, I don't want to restart again, so let's just use a potion. Let's not be stupid about it. Yeah, so these ladies... Oh god, are so tanky. Give me... At least give me your card. Wow. Okay, I don't know. I mean, uh, by themselves they're not that bad at all. Uh, but two of them... Um, kind of annoying, but combined with these uh, wall-hugging silverfish, it's just the worst. Okay. All uh, right, we cannot go up this way. In fact, I mean, I don't know if we will ever be able to break uh, rocks upwards. So we'll see about that. Oh, God, we have two more of those. I'm gonna reset. <laughs> Just so maybe I get a chance to shoot them before they shoot, or whip them before they shoot me. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Why? Why am I so bad? Just, just die. I'm... Okay. Despawn, please? I should just heal. What am I, what am I even doing? This, you know, let's be smart. Let's be smart about it. I don't know about the cost reduction, honestly. Obviously, it doesn't heal for a ton. I don't know exactly how much, but not for for a huge amount. It still costs mana. It has a casting time, so I think I'm better off actually relying on healing through food. That you know seems reasonable. Yeah, and I right. I do remember um, doing some experimenting with these, and uh, they heal for three whole hearts with the uh, the card that increases the healing. So there's that. But where are we, actually? Okay, all the way down here. Yeah, we couldn't go further down that way. We can't go further up this way. Oh, there is a safe point here. See, I, I believe I was at least this far, but I already don't remember. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, yeah, okay, of course. We got these uh, switches. It took me a little while to even spot the first time around. I don't know why. I mean, obviously they're not exactly invisible, but they're also they don't stand out as much as as they could. Um, but this is not what we want what we want to do. In fact, 
we need to do this. Then this, which allows us access to this chest here, yeah. And that gives us a key, so not optional at all. But I don't believe there's anything optional in this room at all. It's just the key. Then we have to make our way around this way. And to the exit, for which both switches have to be off. Right, and here we encounter one of those lobster water spirit ladies. Really weird enemy, actually, when you think about it. Super tanky. Of course, they can't really do much when they're on a small platform like that. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. Okay, I'm also one hit away from death, so uh, let's eat some of this. And some of this, I guess. I mean, these are really not very valuable at all. Okay. Oh, this leads us back to the first room. Right. Which means we gained basically nothing? Or just outright nothing? The one key we got along the way... Oh, never mind. We did get a key. So we needed to do that. Never mind. Never mind. Right. Oh, you know what? I did make it that far. I did open the door that we see to the right there. However, I'm pretty sure that ultimately just leads to a dead end, even though it takes a while. And I got pretty confused. And that's when I turned around, uh, because I, well, I didn't remember exactly, but I just decided to look around the first part, the this currently export part of the dungeon again. And it turns out that, um, you know, I forgot about that part where you need to jump up and you can't go back down. Uh, the part that I decided to leave alone for the time being. And it turns out that you have to go there, apparently, because otherwise you just end up getting stuck. So knowing that, it should save me some time. But I don't made it very... Uh, I don't made it. Yeah, wow, great. Awesome. Awesome English. Right there. Um, I did not make it very far into that area, so this should be basically new. Pretty sure these guys are supposed to drop a card. Didn't I get one? No, I guess not. Oh, never mind, I did. Uh, boomerangs are thrown with tremendous speed. That's right, yeah. I did get that one before, okay. Um, oh, one thing I didn't get is um, the second boss monster card. Uh, because I did not use the teleporter that's actually pretty close to the entrance of this dungeon. So I could have taken that one uh, back over to Tree Town. Um, Turned in those five nuggets for the next monster card, boss card, which could absolutely be very, very good and useful. But, you know, I'm here now. Yes, I could actually pretty, pretty easily back out of the dungeon, grab that and be back in almost no time. But I'm deciding not to. Okay. Yeah. Again, these, these things, these switches. Uh, not exactly hard to spot, but kind of easy to miss at the same time, if that makes sense. Hmm, could go up there. Do I want to? Do I need to? Uh, yes. As it turns out. Do that. That we can safely cross this. That gives us a key. And allows us to go up here. Hmm. We could uh, alter the switch state here. I'm not sure if we need to. Get out of here with your weird projectiles and your stupid nonsensical name. Rocket Archer Lady. Okay, nothing else in this room. Ah, oh, safe point. I might have made it exactly this far. Actually. Anyway. Not that it really matters. Okay, another kill room. Yeah, I don't remember this one. Same enemy type, though. Okay. Can we actually just kill her? Yes. They do have a lot of health, though. Oh, okay. Nope. Ah, yeah. I did see her get ready to, to attack. Okay, these are easy. And quickly killed, most importantly. Okay, good. We even got her before she started attacking here. Okay. Okay, this one was so much easier than the other one. Just 
Just don't add those stupid wall monsters, as it turns out. Okay, you know what? This looks terrible. I'm... Okay, I cannot actually sneak past. Holy crap, what? How? How do you... Okay, thanks a lot. Hard. Yikes. Um, okay. I... I'm amazed by the fact that I did not get hit there. Okay, well. Pure skill. Uh, where are we? Okay, this leads back to this room. So we could have taken this way around, but we did gain a key for taking the other way. So I guess that was good. I'd say that was pretty good. And this drops us back down here. Okay, yeah, awesome. That's all we needed to do, actually. Because uh, we could have opened this first door. However, okay, there are these things. Um, I don't think I've, uh, I've got the card for. Oh, they also don't respawn. Right. Yeah, oh, okay, there's another one. Come on. Not exactly the most dangerous enemies, although they can get you by surprise, of course. It's really the only way they can get you. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, I feel like I was starting to say something. Oh yeah, so, okay, the first key, or the key that we had, that we did get at first, would have gotten us through uh, to this room, which is pretty big, but yeah, as it turns out, um, we we'll end up needing another key. All ah, right, there's that mysterious little room that seems to have no other entrance. I mean, it, nothing that we can see, at least, and I can see. So that suggests that maybe we can break rocks from below, even, which would be new. I'm pretty sure that has not been the case in any of the previous games. At this point, we have seen two of the squids, but have been unable to get either of them. Okay, well, there, I managed to just jump into one of those jellyfish thingies. Which I think is still around. I don't think I've killed it. Okay, this is awkward. <laughs> awkward timing. Is the, uh, the guy still around? Okay, of course, as soon as you take out the uh, a certain number of, of snakes, they start respawning again. Awesome. Okay. Still no card from those guys. Yeah, there's something in the center of this room. Up here, again, maybe... Well, that, I don't remember. Maybe you can break that from above. Let's move back to the entrance. Right. Can't continue this way. Or go up. Let's see. I don't remember what was here. Oh, okay. We have seen one of these guys, right? In fact, I'm pretty sure I have the card. Yeah, we saw one outside the dungeon. Um, let's wait for him to... Oh, okay. Just one was his projectile there. Okay, good. Teleports there. So tanky, though. Wait for him to land on the middle platform. Like so. Okay. Oh, yeah, this place. Okay. Yeah, that sure stops you. Let's see how we can... Well, I mean, unless the... the Rock breaking ability allows you to just fly horizontally. Don't see how we can get through there. Oh, there's another one of those guys. Awesome. Forgot about that. Right, only one way to go. And there's uh, where we need the second key. Okay. So I wasn't wrong about that. I had been starting to worry, but not really. Okay, she's gonna... No, never mind. thought she was gonna... Zip forward. Okay. Oh! Wet Gal monster card. Awesome. Wet Gal, huh? Um, I see. Uh, we don't... Yeah, we don't have one for those uh, big lobster guys, huh? Who we've only seen, like, twice so far, I think, maybe. So we haven't really had much of an opportunity to. Increase the odds of collecting drop magic. Drop magic. Oh, okay, as in drop hearts. Also, we unlocked this one at some point. Swim with super speed. Well, obviously we can't swim yet. Spoilers, we we'll be able to swim at some point. Whoa. Um, not surprising at all, of course. Yeah. Put it 
honestly, hmm. Again, if the if the increase in in magic drops is about as amazing as the one for heart drops for the muck gal, then uh, it's not going to be very amazing. Unfortunately, thanks for the heart though. Speaking of which, okay. huh? Surprisingly, enemy less rooms here. Surely we'll have more of those uh, silverfish around here somewhere. That is, yep. Of course, I had to say something. It's exactly their type of room. Okay. Another puzzle room. So just another key there. I mean, if it's a puzzle room, let's see here. Wow, this place is huge. Yeah. I mean, surely we must be about halfway through at this point. Um. I mean, if this is a puzzle room. It likely is going to uh, uh, just be its own thing, right? And just lead to a key that the actual progress is up in that previous room. Anyway, um, if I dash through, will that hit that switch? Oh, that. Okay. Hold on. This is exactly the room that we have a little cactus for. So we'll, um, I guess leave that one for now. Although I might need to heal, it's, it's fine. You can always switch to the uh, food food healing increase card, uh, then heal and then switch back immediately. So we never actually have to have that equipped outside of menu. Um, right, anyway. Uh, technically, the dash does count as an attack, right? Okay, let's find out. It does not, for the purposes of hitting these. That's good. Okay. Right here, I suppose. Well, I can't see what's below, but yeah, I guess I. Uh, actually, I. W Those were not spikes, so I took the full damage, and it resets me back, back all the way. Of course it does. Okay, anyway. Yep. No reaction whatsoever. I also missed the switch, of course, which is pretty easy to do. Let's. It's fine. Can I make it to the platform? Uh, probably not. Okay. So precise whipping, unfortunately necessary. However, uh, I should be safe. Yeah. Okay. Good. <sighs> Precision whipping. Um, that being said, okay. Now that that is active, it should trivialize mostly most of this room. Okay. There's a key. Yeah. Because there's no safety blocks everywhere, which is extremely nice. Uh, there was a way over this way, yes. Okay. So unfortunately, the path continues onward. Unfortunately, because, well, so much for my theory about, uh, you know. Oh god, of course. Of course there was gonna be another one. Oh, when you hit them, they just blow up and, and are gone. That's why I was confused about the other one earlier. I see. Uh, and of course, I promptly forget to actually re-equip the, uh, the healing increase. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's not be lazy. Obviously, we don't really need the spike protection now. Let's get another one. Okay, so that's one and a half hearts without the increase. Or um, six individual units, I guess. Was it three before without the bonus? Is it always doubling? I don't know. Anyway, um, health is looking fine now. Oh, and this is just a dead end. Great. Okay, well. This should still be easy. Yeah. All right, so we have a key. That's good. Good thing we came here first. Also, back up to almost uh, 600 gold, which is great. Die? Just okay, good. Snakes. Thanks for the magic, though, that I didn't need. Hmm. Okay. Just a quick look in here. Okay, that's free. Oh, the um, the card. Yeah, the map. That took a while, but I guess that's exactly. Whoa! This place is huge. Holy crap. Okay. Oh. Well. Uh, yeah, we we found the the map pretty late in the previous dungeon as well, so I guess that's half of the course. Let's see if I can nope. not find another heart. Yes, let's see. 
surely we... Oh, of course. I should have known. I mean, obviously, at this point, we're... It's, it's pretty safe to assume that we're going to run into her in every single dungeon. Uh, I was just about to say that we have to be getting close to the point where we get the ability, because there are so many places uh, that we've been to um, that had, you know, breakable blocks. And also corridors where I might be able to fling myself across. Um, that, uh, yeah, that has to be pretty soon. Anyway, for now, hold it, run. Risky boots. Again. You've got some explaining to do. You're so demanding. Perhaps I finally started to rub off on you. <laughs> Very well. I have a spare moment or two. I'll answer one question, and one question only. Oh, better think about this. Okay, then. What are you really doing on this island? Did you just come here to find that treasure? That's two questions, Shante. Shame, huh. shame. That sounded like two questions to me. Those girls vanishing at the same time you show up. It can't be a coincidence. I mean, it could be, but... <sighs> Fine. I'm feeling particularly generous today. So I'll make you an offer. Defeat me in battle. Again. And I'll tell you what you wish to know. Um, okay, sure. I, I mean, we've done it twice before. I guess I'll do it again. Still, have the bubble active. Okay, sure that works. We also have a ton of damage. Oh, oh, oh. all right, it's awesome. Whoa, twelve damage! Holy crap! Ah, should I just get killed at this point? Yeah, whatever. Nope. Okay. Yep. Just casually walk through me for two damage. I mean, it's fine. Okay. Not sure how much that would have done. Okay. Wow. You're obnoxious, do you know that? Just wait here. Shield is almost out. Not that it helped me much. Come on. There we go, finally. Stop! Dear me, stubborn as ever. You promised! Why are you here? Tell me! Oh, very well. <laughs> like I said before, I'm here for the treasure. That's not good enough. Then how about this? The real treasure yes. is the sunken city itself. <gasps> no way. So it's actually a, I don't know, spaceship or station of some sort. And I intend to take it. Uh, what? Huh? How can you steal an entire city? <laughs> That's all the questions for now. You've wasted enough of my time as it is. Ta-ta! Okay. The city is the treasure? Hmm. What? what is that supposed to mean? Well, that it's some sort of um, vehicle. In the broadest sense, I guess. Okay, absolutely safe that, although it was not a very clean fight, but whatever. Also completely out of mana, which is not great. I could eat something, I suppose. Okay, see the sparkles on the wall there. Oh, okay. Just wondering if there was going to be an easy way out, as there usually is. Oh, okay, and we are already here. Hello, uh, there we go. Zapple! Completely forgot about you. In fact, I don't even remember the name, but surely we met her before. Ah, she's the angry one, huh? Hold on, I'll get you out of here, out of there. Yeah. Hmm, it's another of these bizarre cages. Where am I? Where am I? Deep inside the second city. Under the island, huh? Figures. We need an escape plan. Take this. Okay. Bunker tortoise. Aw, that looks adorable from the little icon there. Not surprising, of course. What's this? That is a magical fusion coin. It will allow you to transform instantly into a new form. This one bears the mark of a bunker tortoise. Bunker tortoise? Bunker tortoises are rare creatures that inhibit, inhibit? inhabit this island. They can't swim, but they can smash stone and even spin on their top spike. Using its abilities, you may be able to locate the source of evil in this place. Press LT in the air to stump from above. LT, yes, okay. You can also charge up and release X to perform a destructive spin dash. Give it a shot. Really? So, just charge the, uh, or hold the regular attack button for... Okay, so basically you Koopa shell yourself, and you can jump in this form. Will this ever stop? Oh yeah, okay, you just hit attack again. 
interesting. This is uh, fascinating and unexpected and kind of impossible to control, but then again, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm actually uh, invulnerable in this form. Also, I actually ended up being, uh, actually ended up untransforming. Okay, never mind. Um, I mean, I did untransform automatically at some point, but you can still prematurely end it. Thankfully, otherwise that would be a very long time to just keep bouncing back and forth. Yes, okay. And... But that, of course, means that we cannot actually go up that way. So... Yeah, things like that... Um, things like that... Um, squid in the little hidey hole are... God, can, can you... Okay, and you can, of course, do that while you're already bouncing. Um, yeah. Oh, God. Stop it? Uh, or not? You cannot actually stop yourself, as it turns out. I tried. Um, um. Oh, God. Yeah, uh, of course, I knew that I was going to jump right into the next one. Is this a place I've been to? Um... No, actually, this is new. I could go a little bit further down into the next save point, I suppose. I did crash all the way through that through that room. Oh, and of course, those corridors with the spikes. I'm going to assume that uh, in turtle form you're just, uh, or tortoise form, you're just immune to spikes. And you can just uh, harmlessly flip across them. That's the only thing that makes sense, of course. Ouch. God, leave me alone. Jerks, I almost died there. Ugh, <laughs> I hate them so much. It's just impossible to not take damage from them all the time. And poor, poor health. And pool of consumable healing items. Uh, well, that's what it is. I'll just eat one of those. Yes. In fact, should I make it make a cut here? Um, it seems like we're still quite a bit... Quite a ways off from being able to finish this dungeon. Where do we need to go? Not all the places are even visible on the map. Well, I mean, I guess all the important places that actually lead to progress should be uh, deductible from the map. Uh, I know, of course, that there is the the squid toward the, uh, the beginning of the dungeon. Which we should be able to get now. Hmm. I mean, I guess I... I'll continue for a little bit longer. Maybe I'll just try to make my way there. Assuming this leads to that place, if I can go there. Oh, we have these breakable... Actually, I mean, I don't know, but... Okay, never mind, it's not breakable at all. I mean, it, it, yeah. Was it? I tried walking through it. Hmm. I was able to turtle my way through, so I guess there is that. Okay, I'm... Guess I'm gonna play it safe, assuming this is safe? Yeah, surely it would be. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect that uh, that squid. In case I didn't finish that train of thought earlier. I think I didn't. Hmm, that looks suspicious only because there's a one tile high thingy. I guess not. Okay, we got more enemies, of course. Would you cut it out? Thank you. Oh, right. Okay. This is this room. Hmm. So we don't actually need to break these. Well, we need to if we want to take the same way back. But for now, we head on over this way. Um, why do I keep forgetting where we need to go? So we cannot actually go up that way. So I have to take the longer, longer way around. But then I can open that from above. Okay. We could go all the way down. But for now, we want to head back to the beginning, to the entrance. I could actually use that opportunity to head back out entirely. Wait. Oh, there we go. Don't know why I thought I was trapped in here. So obviously I'm not. I can just do the exact same thing I did the first time around. Wait. This was already the correct one. Go. I could exit the dungeon and actually get that boss card, for example, and maybe do some shopping even. I mean, I 
could do that, but... Do I need to? I don't know. Also, that's a weird block, of course, that I haven't really spent much... Uh, much time thinking about what it, what it might be good for. I'm just gonna assume... Or, or just hope that I can... go through it. Okay. For now... Oh! You're not safe. Interesting. Wait, how does this work then? Uh, spikes absolutely do kill you. Well, we have something that at least mitigates that problem a little bit. Yeah, okay, that just kills you. Weird. I mean, it's not weird at all, it spikes, but... Okay, you can do that, but now what? Huh? I mean, surely... There haven't been any indicators for hidden things in this entire dungeon, so I'm, I didn't ex expect that to do anything. <sighs> at least for the previous two dungeons, we were able to clear them out entirely, as far as I can tell at least. Definitely in, in terms of, of squids, with just the ability we got inside the dungeon. With this one, however, I... Uh, Unless there's some mechanic that I'm not seeing. No, I mean, that just kills you. I was thinking maybe if you time your time a jump or something, you just bounce across the spikes. But that certainly does not seem to be the case. Hmm. And obviously, this ability... Um, yeah, that extends the reach of the newt is not going to make a difference. It does not allow you to much further at all. So this is a mystery, for sure. Thankfully we can make it across that pretty safely. Yeah, weird. Hmm. Huh. So that's a first, and that's unfortunate. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll just need to return to this dungeon later with a later game ability and clear it out. I was kind of hoping to just continue finishing these in one go, but maybe not. Well, either way, we had to go up here and break through all of these rooms. Being said, there is a little bit... Oh, no. There's something here, which is, of course, just going to be... Well, okay, heart. And nothing. Well, <laughs> there could have been something there, I suppose. I guess we did really have to go all the way through that. Okay, there's another one of those things. And finally, we get a chance to take a look at what they actually do. Okay. Oh, that could have shot me all the way up. That would have made things faster. Wait, wait a second. Is there one over this way that can shoot me all the way across, perhaps? That would explain things. Ouch. Hold on. Um, I mean, yeah, it's still a straight line from all the way over here. Yeah, that would still make sense. We can actually break through these manually, if you will. Okay. There's that. Oh, is, could there be? No. We did break through this at one point. Yeah. So there is still a straight corridor. I guess we just never made it to the other side of it. Sympathetical other end. Okay. Yeah, no, we couldn't. Right. Okay, I see. So there has to be... Right, there basically has to be one of those launch thingies. Um, at the far end of this corridor, down that vertical shaft, which we should now be able to get to, maybe? Um, I don't know exactly what blocked us from progressing in that uh, little bit of the shaft that we that we entered at one point. But I think it's kind of fair to assume that we probably, we're probably meant to go from, uh, from the lower path. So I'm going to work under that assumption and return back down this way, avoiding the stupid lightning projectile thingies as best as I can. Okay, we're not going to go here yet. I'm just going to head on over here, save the game, and end this episode. And we're going to resume and probably finish up exploring this place next time, which uh, has ended up being quite large and complex and also very dangerous. Um, it's definitely not a cakewalk at all. But then, you know, that's 
not so different from the previous games that uh, could get pretty tricky in places. Although most of them, I want to say, uh, took a little bit longer until the you know further into the actual end game before platforming and especially enemies became as dangerous as as they are here. Well, platforming actually hasn't been a problem. Platforming and puzzles are still kind of kind of trivial, but the enemies um, are definitely giving me a bit of a bit of a struggle. Anyway, um, yeah, we could try going further down. We don't have a key. No, we don't have a key, but there is exactly one more locked door. Hmm. What does that mean, actually? Why, why would we need to go through that? Huh. Well, we can go down and try to move toward that locked door, perhaps, or we could try the corridor uh, to the right from here, or the east. Well, that seems to be our two options right now. So uh, yeah, one of those uh, it's going to be for next time. For the time being, I th thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.